hello guys and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel so guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a pencil skirt with full lining so i'll show you guys how to line your pencil skirt for those of you that don't know how to cut and sew it neatly and perfectly that's what we are going to be doing today so this is the fabric that i'm going to be making use of so my fabric i'm making use of a duchess fabric so it's about one and a half yard because it is a short skirt so that's what i'm making so you can see i'm going to be making use of my free hand so i'm just trying to fold the fabric on the table i'll use my hip measurement to fold it my hip is 40 so i will divide the 40 into four and then add five inches so i folded at 15 so the next thing i'm doing now i'm trying to measure the length of my skirt so you can see i just spread it out here so that's the fabric so please if you find this video helpful please like the video okay so the next thing you can see i am taking the length so if you notice the way i place my tape i left one and a half inch up because i'll use i would use i'll pipe it that is i would like pipe it so that's the full length of the skirt which is about 23 inches and then the next length i'm marking now that's 10 inches or nine inches there about which is my hip line and then this line i just added it is like a waistline which is like the starting line so you can see this is simple and easy the next thing you divide your waist measurement into four and you mark it and then add one inch for that and then add one and a half inches for sewing allowance and then i'll come to my hip measurement divide by four i'll place it and then add stitching allowance if you notice that one i did not add that 40 i marked 10 and then added allowance so for the down part i checked what i have there i minus two inches from it so for this down part of your skirt you can easily measure so you can see what i have so if i'm using 10 inches for my hip i'll use eight inches for the down part so that's what i did so after that i'm just cutting out my pencil skirt you can see easily and then i want to add my dart so i'll use my boss pan which is like nipple to nipple so for this i think i use about four and a half inches so i place just notch it like that easily and then the next thing i'll fold my fabric again to cut the back piece so you can see how i folded it i left two inches bigger for the back piece and then place the skirt and then i am cutting exactly every other part is ex cut exactly okay except the zip allowance area so that is it so i'm adding the dart lines also that's just notching it and then i'll notch my zip area and then open this up so that's all the next thing i'm going to cut my lining exactly like my fabric nothing added nothing removed so you can see so the next thing i'm going to stitch it i'll just take it to my machine and then i'll stitch the three edges around i'll leave the top part okay so after stitching so now i want to show you guys how to stitch so that's the down part that's where you will stitch first when you are making a pencil skirt so i did not reduce my own lining i'll trim it out later so you can see i will stitch the down part of my skirt that's the first part you should stitch when you are making a full lined pencil skirt after that the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to push it so you can see where i'm pushing it so you can see i pushed the lining upwards and then had a little bit of like one inch at the down part of my skirt so i pushed it and then after pushing it the next thing i'm going to stitch the side so i've pushed it now you can see how the fabric came up and my lining shifted up so i'll stitch it on the side yes i'll stitch it on the side after stitching it on the side you make sure so for the dart you have two ways you can decide to hold it and stitch the dart lining and fabric dart together but mine i decided to stitch only the fabric part i did not add that to the lining so you can see i've added my darts i used about four inches there about that so after that the next thing i am trying to make sure that my fabric everything is laying flat at this point don't rush it if it is not laying flat make sure it is laying flat if not your skirt will be like ball it will be baggy i don't know whether baggy or bally something 
So the next thing you turn it out and then iron it. So after ironing it, remember that waist part, you just stitch it down. So after stitching it down, I'll take the back and the front. Uh, sorry, I'll take the back. I'll add the back together. So the same thing I did to the front. That's what I did to the back. So everything and turn. So at this point now, I'm just marking my allowance. So after marking my zip allowance, I'm going to stitch it. So after stitching, I'll just iron it out. So you can see. So that um, zip allowance area, you just mark it where I marked it and then you stitch it. So after stitching it down, you just take it back to your machine, your ironing table, sorry, and then you iron. So the next thing, you open that back piece. You see, I did not touch the front piece. I'll add my waist measurement. At this point, you divide your waist measurement into two. For instance, if my waist is 35, I'll divide it into two, which is 17. So I'll place, mark my tape. You see the way I place my tape? I'll mark the 17 there. And then my hip measurement is 40. I'll divide into two, which is 20. I'll mark 20 here. I'll mark it to at that point like that and then mark it on this other side also okay so for the down part i will reduce the down part so for the down part since i use 20 for my hip measurement the down part i'm going to use 18 so for this like i said is optional you can make it smaller so i'll use 18 so i'll mark 18 i'll mark the 18 at that down part of my skirt like that and then i'll create the shape so that pencil shape you see, that's why you have to reduce that down to achieve that pencil-like shape. So you can see, after that, the next thing is just to for me to pin. So I'm just trying to highlight it. Double check my measurement. So please, if you find this video helpful, please like my video. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Oh, I would appreciate. So the next thing, I'm going to pin it down. So always pin your pencil skirt down. So that it will not shift yes it's good for you to pin it down before you stitch it so you can see i'll stitch here and stitch here that's how simple this is after stitching this is how it looks like after ironing you can see it looks fine so at this point depends on the waist how you want to finish your waistline if you want to use a big band you can do that so for mine i just want to give it a little bit of a pipe so for those of you that have been following me, you understand what I mean when I say pipe in the way we used to pipe armhole. So you just cut out a little bit of fabric of like one and a half inch or two inches there about and then you use it to pipe the waistline. So that is what I am going to do for this skirt. So guys, I'm going to stop this tutorial here right now. And I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. If you don't know how to pipe, I'll drop the link in the description box. And you'll be able to watch it like this video share this video so this is how you pipe it you just take it and then you stitch it around after stitching it around and then you just fold it and just top stitch it that's all how to do that so thank you so much guys i will see you guys in my next class so at this point i was just trying to show you guys you can see how it is length